What I like about Amari Cooper is that he doesn't discriminate. Uh, if you take a look at the Eagles game last year, he beat up on Ronald Darby. He beat up on Sidney Jones. Some of those safeties got some work. He'll whoop each and every DB on your team. And this week, uh, or at least last week or whatever, he beat up on Razul Douglas and Jalen Mills pretty often. I wanted to highlight a little bit of that if y'all don't mind, okay? Let's run this for the cardio. We got Amari Cooper down bottom. 32 is Razul Douglas. Now, I wanted to show this one because it kind of set the tone for uh, for the rest of the um, – for the rest of the uh, film session there, right? I see Amari Cooper lined up against Razul Douglas, and Razul's just kind of, you know, falling around, messing up his clothes, getting getting grass stains all in his white pants. And I'm like, how did he fall? Like, Coop didn't push off of him or anything. Their legs, did, you know, they didn't get tangled up or nothing like that. So I go back to the cartel view, and I see Razul Douglas was holding on to Amari Cooper, but man, look, he holding Jersey, but Amari Cooper's, he's about to break inside. He's about to do his cut this so, so, so quick, so fast, so ferocious, so aggressive with great vengeance and furious anger. He's cutting inside and Razul Douglas holding on, but he ain't got the feet to keep up with him. He ain't got the feet to keep up with Amari Cooper. Next thing you know, Cooper's going to burst inside and he's just going to drag Razul with him. Just looking all silly. And uh, what we saw from the uh, from the actual throw from Dak, fantastic throw, by the way. We saw Dak make another one of these throws to Randall Cobb in the last film session in the Dak Prescott film uh, from this week. Y'all should go look at it. But man, I just I just think this set the tone for the entire exchange between uh, Cooper and the Eagles DBs. They just couldn't do enough to keep up with him. Cooper was just too athletic. He was just too creative. He was just too nasty for him. And um, I think he's gonna do a lot more of this, but. So we got Amari Cooper on the right side of the formation. He's going to <clears throat> shift to the other side. We're not going to talk about any kind of pre-snap movement because for some reason people think that when we lose, we don't go motion or any kind of pre-snap move, uh, movement, but I bust that myth wide open. So go look at my other videos and that, but we've been pretty consistent with pre-snap motion or whatever. So now we got Cooper and Razul Douglas on the outside, right? Take a look at this play, and I can't wait to come back and break this down for you, man. I don't like how Chris Collinsworth thinks he's think he's 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 doing something different or he's putting us up on game in terms of cooper and his route running if y'all been keeping up with this channel y'all know coop get busy i got plenty of videos breaking down coop anyway what amari cooper did right let's talk about how brilliant it is okay um we know that this is a double move right but any move that you do in football, especially at the wide receiver position, any move that you do, it's only as good as it's set up, right? So this is a sluggo, slant and go, okay? You learn something new, don't forget it, this will be on the test. Sluggo, there's a slant and there's a go um, um, facet to this, right? So we know that in the, in the go portion, Cooper wants to get outside. So we need to make as much room as we can. And to make room outside, you make room inside. So that means this slant is very important not just for him to bite on the slant but we want to carry him as close to inside as we can and we got him to the numbers you know the 30 and the 40 we got him we actually got douglas um uh to the numbers there but if we just break it backwards one more time, <laughs> break it backwards. I like that. If, if we just break this, break this play down backwards one more time. Okay. The, we, we can't get the sluggo unless the damn slant is, you know, believable. So if you're Amari Cooper, what do you do to let us really believe that slant? And what he likes to do is he likes to, um, and this is on film, plenty of us on film. He likes to work outside a little bit, right? And you see Razul Douglas kind of gets his hips going in that direction, kind of, kind of, kind of almost outside. But when Amari Cooper gets inside and we see Razul Douglas turn his hips and plant his feet to, to bite on that slant that ain't really a slant. Ha ha, you've activated my trap card looking at. Next thing you know, the ball is floating away from you. Wilson! <laughs> and now you're trying to catch up to Amari Cooper. And if you didn't have safety help, that would have been six. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Razul Douglas, taking the bait like that. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> it gets better, man. It gets better. Let's keep watching, man. This is why Cooper is my favorite wide receiver on this team. And I think since Antonio Brown's not in the league anymore, I think Cooper's the best route runner in the league right now. Y'all can kind of, you know what I'm saying, quote me on that, tell him I said it. But, hey, man, you know, that that's everything that, that Coop does, he earns it. You know what I mean? 
not like some receivers that were here once upon a time to where if they're going to run some outside route or they'll just, you know, you know, head fake inside and then run it. Nah, Coop is giving you the whole thing. Then we're going to get a feel. Here's another example. Uh, whooping Jalen Mills. Watch this. Take a look at this play. Amari Cooper's about to earn everything that he gets, man. Uh, we got him. He's about to run this slant right here, right? But like I said, man, I keep saying this. Some some receivers would, would probably just head fake to the outside and then just run a slant and then get mad that, that there's some corner draped on their hip the whole way. Nah, man, Cooper earned this slant. He, he earned separation. This is how he did it, man. Like, he didn't just get up. Like, he sold this this um sold this slant with a fade bro and it wasn't just like a little fade he got one two three steps into the fade three steps into it and how does he sell his fade because when you watch film on amari cooper if he's gonna run a fade he gives about a step inside just to kind of get you floating in that direction he's so consistent if you look at his feet you see him working inside just a little bit one step to the inside boom break down outside one two three steps then he's gonna cross face and get back inside that is fantastic man that's why amari cooper's so fantastic he's taking everything from you but he's earning it he's earning that let's watch a cartel of you and then we'll move on to the next play and we'll just get y'all up out of here boom 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 look at all that separation he got from Razul douglas man. i mean from uh jaylen mills look at all that separation Jalen Mills came back to this. <laughs> Jalen Mills been out all year. Then he's gonna then he's then he's gonna show up, play against Amari Cooper, and this happened to him. I bet that man. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a Fire Stick. Plug that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a Fire Stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. How about this? We're going to get some movement from Randall Cobb. Okay? We uh, we got Amari Cooper versus Jalen Mills down bottom. Let's run the play. Let y'all get a good look at it, and then we'll bring it back and talk about it for a little bit. Which is fantastic, by the way. Um, and Cooper is more than just a route runner. Like Cooper is, first of all, he's a he's a he's a big dude. Like like he's not like Alshon Jeffrey big, but like Cooper ain't little. Like he's a big swole dude. But he's he's like physical guy. Like 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 some of these route runners aren't like physical. Like Julian Edelman's Julian Edelman's a good route runner, but he's not a physically imposing guy. You know what I mean? But he gets open. He's a tough catch kind of dude. Coop is a fantastic route runner. He's this big, and he can also give you a three-step head start and then run past you. <laughs> Come on, my guy. Hey, my guy. Come on. Can we pay Amari Coop and quit playing? Listen, he's going to get off the ball. And, J and look, to, to be fair to Jalen Mills, Jalen Mills bailed out of there, and he got his hips going towards the end zone, and that's where that's where we was going. And Jalen Mills is really in fantastic position to get an interception because Dak Prescott's throwing the ball right now. If you take a look at him, he's throwing the ball right now, but Coop is so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Coop got so much burst. He just ended up passing Jalen Mills anyway. That's nasty, bro. That is nasty business. I can't even watch this. And if y'all not 18 or older, y'all can't watch this neither, man. This is inappropriate. <laughs> How nasty this shit is. You, 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 can only, you can only watch this route running late at night on Cinemax, bro. Come on. Ugh. Listen. It's going to be a fun film week. We're going to be breaking it down all week. Um, we got two out already. This is, I don't know how many we got out already. I don't know which order I'm going to release these in, but uh, we got a lot more, um, you know, we got a lot more to come. So hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop random film sessions in the middle of the week just like this because when we win, film is fun. All right, y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski. Until next time, which is like tomorrow. <laughs> Peace, y'all. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay $200 plus a month. I paid $120 a year, or you can go $15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi-screen features, so if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. That you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Sticks, Smart TVs, Tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone.
Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.